Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Monday, November 28th, 2022. Well, last Wednesday um, and on Friday, we had quite a rally, particularly in the Dow, um, to extend this move up pretty sharply here and honestly on low volume. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday for you folks that are still traveling, safe travels, getting back home. Um, now everyone has to kind of settle into, well, another sales event of the um, retail sales event of this Cyber Monday, which is now extended for um, essentially a whole week. So kind of an interesting, um, interesting day that we could have today with maybe some folks extending their holiday um, j vacation just a little bit. And then of course the distraction of those events. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. As you can see right across in here, we've been challenging that uh, downtrend um, um, here in the Dow broke through solidly held price support here in the chart and then continued to extend on up even extending Piat just past that little high right there now we do want to keep in mind that this area in the chart is a pretty darn significant area of price resistance and although we have been stretching and stretching and stretching the market we also know that we have some issues um, ahead of us that may put us in a bit of a well a bit of a parabolic situation in this rally as you can see particularly if you start looking through the components of the Dow index there was a lot of parabolic charts in there so we want to watch this price resistance area right up through here if those bulls find that inspiration and continue to push us up through there then so be it if we find a little bearish inspiration i think our next price support would be right down in this area and unfortunately that's going to be a big point drop um, in that which could be a little bit painful so if you're kind of thinking about chasing into this move in, in at this point I would really caution you to be a little bit careful here for that potential resting pullback that could begin at any time now we certainly have all the hype and hope out there the news media just continues the financial meeting continues to just pound out there that there's just going to be a Santa Claus rally and I want to suggest we may have had the majority of that as a matter of fact I think we could see more of a resting consolidation a little bit of a pullback particularly while we're waiting on an FOMC decision coming up in mid-December maybe after that period of time we can find a little bit of bullish inspiration but just keep in mind we have extended um, the Dow here particularly into some pretty rarefied air um, so we'll want to watch that pretty close now if we take a look at our spy not nearly as much extension here in the spy we rallied up we did test the resistance here of these highs and we tried to break out of there but let's keep in mind that we still have a lot of issues here to deal with in the spy overall still working into that overall downtrend running into some price resistance and although this is a nice bullish pattern a little rest or a little consolidation would not be out of the question and we certainly could not rule out the possibility that we could continue to extend to stretch up into that downtrend resistance here in the chart now if we look technically you can see we've got a 200 day moving average above here and that may also provide a little bit of resistance in that spy chart if we were to take a look at our QQQ well QQQ has had probably the worst of it and is likely going to continue to see some challenges here moving forward I tell you the the um, situation over there in China certainly um, moved Hong Kong um, which is the tech heavy sector 
um, sharply lower last night. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. It looks like we have a little bit of bearishness showing up here in the pre-market on the indexes and the nasdaq could take the brunt of that punishment so watch that carefully now if we look in here and we look for those bullish and bearish arguments here if we look for bullish inspiration in the market i think a test up in here would seem logical and reasonable um, to be watching for so if those bulls find that reason to continue to push on up look for that level up there to provide that first level of price resistance of course if those bears are inspired and you can see this morning we are gapping a little bit lower here on the spy look for a little price support down in here this is a pretty good little level here that could hold us in that chart and I don't think things get uncomfortable here for the market unless we break that support there so watch that close and if we were to take a look at our Russell IWM here you can see we have a interesting situation here in IWM with that bigger long downtrend running into um, uh, the price action here a little bit of price resistance maybe showing up right there we've got the price resistance in the chart so look for if those bulls can find inspiration maybe a push back up in here to test that downtrend if we can push through there well, possibly up in here for a little bit of price resistance and then of course if those bears find inspiration I'd look for a little support down in this area. And I don't think we get into any major problems here in the market unless that were to break to the downside. Now, just keep in mind that these moves to the downside, particularly in the Dow, could be pretty painful because of the huge point moves that we have seen here in the market. So, for example, if I go to the Dow 30 and just measure here from our Friday close, measure in here, just back down here to the price support, you'll want to notice that's over a 500 point move. So, that could be pretty painful um, if that starts to pull back so just keep an eye on that and if we were to pull back to the lower side of that consolidation let's grab that right in here and pull back to here that's going to be a thousand points just back to that support area and please keep in mind that that doesn't break any of the technicals here in the chart the technical pattern would still be bullish but that you could see how that could be a pretty painful pullback if that were to occur how about we take a look at our economic calendar now if we're looking for inspiration here to get things going we we know we've got the um the news out there in the um chinese market that caused a lot of pressure last night um, overall, relieving some of the upside pressure here. And you can see we don't have a whole lot on our economic calendar to really move us around all that much. We've got a Dallas Fed manufacturing number. I would not expect that to be a positive number. We've got some bond auctions and then of course more Fed uh, conversation out there and then um, as we move through the week we've got case Schiller coming in here so we're gonna start getting a little bit of a jobs numbers then later on this week consumer confidence we're gonna have the ADP a GDP and an inter international trading goods number uh, we've got the job openings report coming in on Wednesday and we do have a <coughs> Powell uh, speaking here so we'll want to pay attention to that we've got jobless claims on Thursday personal incomes and outlays and then that employment situation number on Friday so we've got a lot of jobs data coming our way this week and we have to remember that the jobs data good jobs numbers uh, tends to be bad for the market right now bad jobs numbers could actually be bullish for the market so we'll want to watch that close and then if we take a look at our earnings calendar well our earnings calendar is also winding down substantially I've only got a couple of charts that are notable this week and I think our biggest day of earnings reports um, going to have around 25 companies maybe um, our biggest day and most of those are going to be small caps there will of course be some notables in there but we're really starting to run out of the um, uh, inspiration um, that can come from those um, uh, big name earnings reports so this morning I've got um, 80 
RWR um, on the list that we'll be reporting. This will be somewhat notable here for today. Keep an eye on that one. And AZE uh, K will also be reporting. Nice little bullish pattern showing up here on AZE K, breaking that downtrend, holding that higher low. So this might be an interesting one to watch here for uh, that potential report. But honestly, that's about all there is on the list. There's stocks like YY and others that we'll be reporting, but you know, low volume stocks and not particularly notable to move the market around. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today, however. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful in the planning of your day, if you could do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And also click that share button and share this video out on your social feed that helps us also reach out to to new folks that uh, may have an interest in this kind of content so if you'd take a look at that i would uh, certainly appreciate it and thank you so much for everyone who does do that and also thank you so much for people uh, all you folks that support the channel through the buy me a coffee link you guys are truly truly awesome and i can't even tell you how much it humbles me um, let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and let's keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities As a matter of fact you're gonna need to do your own due diligence and be very very careful here on these trades and I think we might be reaching a point where a little bit of a mix in trades might be appropriate and what I mean by that is we might want to look for some stocks that are setting up bearish patterns so for example if we take a look at TTWO. Um, this right in here, this bearish resistance setting up in this chart, um, downtrend overall, and a little bit of bearishness showing up in here this morning. This could be set up for a potential short trade. So keep an eye on that if that were to move on lower here in the market. You might want to look for a few of those charts that could have that bit of bearishness maybe set up in them and then at the same time you may want to be looking for some of those charts that have bullish patterns set up in them um, we've been seeing quite a little bit of move up in retail here recently and you can see retail here in JWN we're pressing against some resistance and overall bigger downtrend but if we were to pop up through there then I would say that's got some pretty good um, upside opportunity and if you take a look across other retailers we've we're starting to improve out of these lows here in the charts and you can see trying to break that downtrend here and target push on up and it may be all of those retail sales that we came in and we're seeing some really strong numbers coming in which is honestly surprising to me but retail sales were really strong here for Black Friday and um, that may continue here with our Cyber Cyber Monday events so um, with that encouragement we certainly could see some of these retailers respond a bit higher so watch that closely Walmart seems to have been the winner um, this quarter over Amazon. So kind of an interesting situation here. Now, Walmart's been rallying up pretty sharply and we are running into some price resistance in the chart. So I would probably wait for a little bit of a rest or consolidation before um, looking for a trade into there, but um, something definitely worth keeping an eye on. Take a look at NVIDIA. If you are looking for some tech in here, NVIDIA has been holding up quite well. Um, although their earnings weren't all that great we do have a pattern in here that could be setting up notice we're kind of resting and pulling back to a, um, a little support area and a trend area in it here in nvidia so i would look for that opportunity for that if the bulls will step in here then i would expect that resistance there to break and we'll move on up and maybe test some highs up here in this area in NVIDIA. You could also take a look at some of the other techs out there that are really setting up for those potential moves. Now we've got Microsoft holding in here um, on a support level. We rallied um, Thursday and or Wednesday and Friday here in uh, Microsoft and we are challenging some resistance in that 
in that chart. So watch that close. If that pops through that area, then I would expect more upside to come in some of those. If we take a look at AMD, AMD is also setting up in a pretty darn bullish pattern here. Now, certainly there's been a lot of wide ranging chop, but this resting pullback here the last few days is really um, uh, on low volume. So I would watch for that opportunity if we can find some support in this area to see if that can perk on up and move higher. Now the other places that I think we really are going to have to focus on and that's be uh, because of this big movement that we're seeing in um, currencies. Uh, the dollar has been falling really sharply here. So, um, and I've talked about this quite a bit. I don't need to probably go over that again. Um, look at this wild volatility that we're seeing in the pre-market here on the US dollar. So watch that close. Um, we may be coming into some support here, seeing that bounce here um, in the overnight. Watch that watch that area in here a um, little bit of rest a little bit of consolidation may be in the k in in uh in the cards i should say and if this were to continue to fail on down toward this area then that might be bullish for the market but it's also going to be an interesting situation for gold and silver if we take a look at some of those commodity um, charts in here. Notice that gold breaking this downtrend. We've got a support level in here. We've pulled back. We're resting. We're holding. Look for that next opportunity here in gold, particularly if that dollar falls. Silver has been pretty darn strong as well, as you can see, breaking that overall downtrend, holding some support levels in here. Silver hanging in here pretty good. And we may actually continue that upside little trend going on here in silver. I think you want to also be looking at some of the metals out there, other metals, not the precious ones, but just as important on the commodity side of things. Take a look at U.S. Steel, and you guys know I've been talking about this one for a while. U.S. Steel breaking through some resistance in here. A little rest, a little pullback would set up an opportunity for that to move on higher. How about some copper? Uh, copper's been holding in here looking pretty good so let's keep an eye on these support levels here in FCX you might look at CCO um, there's other steel stocks that look pretty good out there you could even take a look at aluminum possibly setting up for a nice little consolidation pop and notice that we're moving closer and closer in here toward that trend so keep an eye on um, some of those metals out there um, for the commodity side of that if the dollar falls these will likely go up you also probably need to keep an eye on energy now energy has been pretty volatile here recently and there is a case for for um you know as we see china um, restrictions probably reducing demand on oil and gas we see opec cutting production um, fighting each other just a little bit on that but we've seen um, oil and gas holding up pretty well let's keep an eye on these areas here this is obviously the energy ETF but keep an eye on this resistance area here in the chart if this starts to fail then there may actually be some short trades that could set up in here but if that dollar falls, if the dollar falls, commodity prices typically go up. So if the dollar falls, we could even see this perk right back up and maybe even get back above that area um, here in the chart. So watch that close. And the other one I think that would be kind of interesting to be keeping an eye on is here in um, utilities. Surprising um, strength here in some of these utilities. We broke through. Um, that resistance level air there in the chart, we might get a resting pullback into this trend. Look for that next opportunity here in utilities. And I think upside target could be up in here, at least for that next move. So watch that close. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. I am feeling better. I apologize I didn't get to answering some of those um, comments in the videos. I'll be back on that today. Um, so you guys take care. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you bright and early Tuesday morning. I want to wish you all of the best of success for today.